everybody. How are you today? This is Professor Jones with you this morning, and I am getting into something that looks like these guys here. What are these things? They're made of lines and spaces. You can call it a stave or a staff. Lots of times we use the word staff. So stave or staff. So if I have one staff or one stave, that means I'm only going to have one line. So it might look something like this. If I'm reading music, it's just one line, one staff, right? I would see something that looks like that and then you know however else I'm gonna build it out now the grand staff as opposed to one staff because one staff could also look like this right do we know the difference between this and this this is called treble clef, and this is called bass clef. So some instruments sit in the register of the treble clef, if, and those are the higher instruments, like a flute or a soprano. If you're a soprano singer, your range, what we call range, can be reflected on the staff by either putting that, that tells us it's going to be in the higher range, or this, like a tuba or a bass or cello, in the lower range. Right? Okay, so we got that so far. When we put those two treble and bass clef on two lines, that's actually what creates the grand step. Just to be clear, for those of you who didn't understand on the first on the first video. And again, the treble clef circles the G, the G note, and the bass clef circles the F. It can also be called bass clef or F clef, G clef or treble clef. Okay? And then we sometimes do this, we connect them. Pianists read two lines because they use two hands. If you are a single instrument, if you're an instrument that plays a single line, again, you might, like for a bass player like myself, I would probably see something that looks like, you know, something that looks like that. And that could be my bass line. So it's on one staff, or you'll see it on the grand staff. All right, so now, again, the importance of using treble and bass clef and knowing the notes that are reflected here, this kind of gives us a full range. There's another clef that I don't really want to try to draw it because I know I'm going to mess it up. It looks almost like that, but I'm going to erase that because that might be wrong. Um, it's called treble clef, or I mean, called alto clef, or C clef. And instruments like the uh, viola may use that. I'm going to leave that out, leave that for another lesson. Um, so, yeah, that's the importance of knowing. That also leads us to our notes. In the next video, we're going to talk about the notes on each stave or staff. Okay? That's it for Grand Staff. Thank you.